All praises to Yahweh by Shimmy Hausha. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect and one third. Brother Obadiah here with another quick hit. Getting on these uh the northern tribes again. Like I said before in a previous video, we don't get on the northern tribes enough for the wickedness that they do. But now, you know, it's it's coming to pass where they're paying for it. All the idolatry and all the madness they are subscribed to via Esau. As you all know, or if you don't know, a lot of those northern tribes from Honduras, Guatemala, El Salvador are making a so-called mass exodus up through Central America uh, to Mexico and trying to get into the States. Uh, they had a blockade on the Guatemalan Mexico border a few days back. Uh, they had the police there. There was a lot of calamity and people were passing out heat exhaustion. I think some people were detained, if I'm not mistaken. But you know, it's just judging the form, you know, for the things that they do. I'm just going to go into a few, few precepts how the Lord is, you know, starting judgment at the house of Israel, which is, you know, it's beautiful. It's about time, you know, the Lord, you know, put put the hammer down on these northern tribes, man. You know, all the things that they do in their Catholicism, into that uh, devil worship, a lot of them, that fucking Jesus Malverde and Santa Morte and all the other shit that they in, you know, believing in that, again, that goddamn Guadalupe and, and all the saints are fair-skinned and you know, they really think that they're of, of Spanish descent. You know, you have a majority of them that are, you know, through the curses, you know, Esau, you know, lay with the woman, you know, carried on their seed. But, you know, you got the masses, you know, thinking that they're not attached with their other brothers and denounce, you know, the truth. So you're doing that, you're getting your judgment. So fuck you, all of the two thirds of the nation, the northern tribe in particular. I'm going to start at uh, Exodus uh, chapter 20, and I'm going to read verses 1 through 5, and this is big with them. This is one of the main reasons that they're getting judged. And, and Yahweh spake all these words, saying, I am Yahweh thy power, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt not have no other gods before me. Thou shalt not make, thou shalt not make unto thee any graven image or any likeness of anything that is in heaven above or that is in the earth beneath or that is in the water under the earth. Thou shalt not bow down thyself to them nor serve them for, for I, Yahweh, thy power am a jealous power, visiting the iniquity of the fathers upon the children unto the third and fourth generation of them that hate me. What do you see, man? You see these Madonnas around. Like I said, I, I, I live among these bug out northern tribes, man. They got, you know, places just in the neighborhood. They have these Madonnas, uh, like shrines and, you know, they actually go up there and do that bullshit. Hail Mary, you know, that cross, you know, all that stuff they're doing with their head and then cross their shoulders and their midsection or their chest, you know, and they'll go, you know, bow down to that, man. And every time I see that, man, that makes me want to puke, and I send up curses on every one of one of those people that I see doing that bullshit. You know, so this is one of, one of the reasons why, you know, they're getting judgment upon them, because they worship these false idols, had these pictures of Cesare in their house, or Guadalupe, like I said before, a lot of them on the, you know, which is all on the left hand side, but more so, you know, with the Santa Morte, they're worshiping the devil, worshiping some so called folk hero, you know, the Mishkarites with that Jesus Malverde, all that. You can judge for it, and it's righteous. All right, I'm going to go to the next verse, next scripture, excuse me. I'm going to go to First Peter. I'm going to go. Chapter 4, and I'm going to read verse 17. And this is what happening right now. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of Yahweh, 
And if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh? So, yeah. You know, it's happening. You know, they're trekking thousands of miles from Central America all the way, trying to get through Mexico, trying to get to, you know, Babylon. And they're going through hell, you know, doing that. A lot of them sell off everything they have, their house. Some of them sell off their kids. Or just send their kids by themselves up that treacherous route to them coyotes. They do a lot of extorting them, those people, uh, raping the women. I wouldn't doubt if they raping the little boys, too. A lot of them are dying in the desert on their way up here. Feet are full of blisters, you know, because they walk for so long. You know, and I'm pretty sure a lot of them have a necklace with Jesus on it or in their billfold or in that backpack got a picture of Guadalupe kissing it and praising it, you know, wishing them a safe passage to, you know, the promised land. You can die with this shit on you, man. And like I say, it's judgment. And I rejoice in it. I drink to it. Because you're wicked. All right, I'm going to go to the next scripture. I'm going to go to Ezekiel. Chapter 18. And I'm going to read verse 30. <clears throat> Therefore, I will judge you, O house of Israel. Everyone according to his ways said Yahweh power. Repent and turn yourselves from all your transgress transgressions so iniquity shall not be your ruin. You know, so the ones that are gonna repent, they're gonna they're gonna repent. But the vast majority are not gonna repent. They're gonna, you know, lie in their iniquity, laden with iniquity. So northern tribes, the majority, you're laden with iniquity and you're not gonna change. And that's good. I'm going to go to the last verse. This is a quick one. Straight to the point. Proverbs chapter 1. I'm going to start at 22. And I'm going to read down to the, to, the, to the end. Down to 33. How long ye simple ones will ye love simplicity? And the scorn is delight in their scorning. And fools hate knowledge. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I will pour out my spirit unto you. I will make known my words unto you because I have called and ye refused I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded but ye have set at not all my counsel and would none of my reproof reproof I will also laugh at your calamity I will mock when your fear cometh when your fear come cometh as desolation and destruction cometh as a whirlwind when distress and anguish cometh upon you then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. They shall seek me early, but they shall not find me. For they that hated knowledge and did not choose the fear of Yahweh, they would not, they would none of my counsel. They despise all my reproof. Therefore shall they eat of their, of the fruit of their own way and be filled with their own devices. For the turning away of the simple shall slay them, and the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. But whosoever, but whosoever hearken unto me shall dwell safely, and shall be quiet from fear of evil. So the Lord is laughing at your calamity. I know I laughed when I saw the broadcast early in the week, how they were uh, getting attacked. A lot of them were passing out, and, and you know, thousands of them have already died just along that, you know, that journey. And that's good for them, man, because they they don't want to seek, you know, the truth of the scriptures, you know, and they're calling on the name, but they're not calling on the correct name. Excuse me. They're calling on Jesus Christos, you know, Jesus Christos, a Judah, me, Porto Favor. He ain't hearing you. And I'm watching it unfold. And for the ones that's going to make it to Babylon, there's just judgment, you know, because he's gathering the nation. You're going to you're going to. Make it there. You're going to think you're going to make it and be saved, but you're going to get judged, you know, because he's gathering all the nations in Babylon and the two thirds, you know, are going to be gathered there also. That's all the law is doing. Just gathering, gathering up to two thirds to be destroyed, man, in our righteousness. So I hope y'all brothers were edified and a few sisters that listen. Yahweh by Shimmy Shah by Shim Rakar Kudas. Shalom.